Uh, Coach, when you talk about some of the traditions that we had together, how did reading, how did the reading of the night before Christmas became become such a holiday tradition, a tradition for the Steelers? Well, I I grew up in uh, World War II. Really, it was uh, I was born in thirty seven and and uh, forty one when the war started, and uh, it wasn't over till forty five. So I remembered uh, those t- those days. Those uh, things were rationed. Uh, we couldn't get shoes. We couldn't get milk. Everything went to the troops overseas, and rightly mm-hmm. so. Uh, but. Uh, I was a small town, London, Ohio, and, and really nobody had anything. And everything went to the war effort pretty much. And uh, uh, I, I wouldn't, I guess we were poor, but we didn't know it because everybody had the same thing throughout the whole the whole town. But except Christmas, uh, my, my family, my dad had three sisters and my mom, and the women were uh, very... Uh, Christmas orientated and they made it such a special time of the year. And uh, yes, the birthday of Christ was, was always number one, but the rest was family uh, and the, the values and the uh, the things in life that, that really matter. And that's your family and, and your surrounding people. And uh, I, I, it hit me. I mean, I, I thought, man, this is the greatest thing in, in the world. And what can I do to tell these women, to show these women that I got it now? I got the Christmas spirit. And I understand what it all is about, uh, loving your brother, loving your fellow man. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, I thought, well, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll learn the night before Christmas and, and learn how to recite it. Well, that was before I knew how many verses there were in it. <laughs> it's longer <laughs> than you think. So I started to work on it, but it took me a while because you, I, I had other things to do. I'd say it was about Christmas time when it would really move me to to memorize the whole thing, and yep. it took me a couple of years. But once I did it, I did it for my family, and then once I I did that, uh, it was a hit with my family. And I thought, well, you know, my, my teammates, my my players that I'm coaching. They're my family. I'm going to do it for them. So I just started doing it for the defense. And uh, pretty soon the head coach said, well, I heard you recited the night before Christmas to the defense. And I said, yeah. I, I, and I told him pretty much the story I just told you. Yep. And he said, well, why didn't you do it for the whole team? I said, well, I ain't the head coach. <laughs> I said, that ain't my call. He said, well, I want you to do it for the whole team. And that's how we started uh, doing it for the whole team. Uh, that's something that we look forward to every year, by the way. Uh, you know, when we get close to Christmas time, we already know Coach LeBeau is going to be a Saturday night before we go to battle on Sunday. He's going to get up and recite the night before Christmas and a full round of applause from the entire room. So we appreciate that, Coach. Coach, before we let you go, I want to transition to the... Say one, let me say one thing, B-Mac. What you got? We almost never, we almost never lost on that Christmas game. You're right. We didn't lose You're right. Every now, but we almost never lost. Almost. We're we're, we're like in a ninety percentile in regards to percentages hey, of winning. It. You got yes. it. Yes. Yeah. 